Hey what's up you guys, welcome to this video. In this video or tutorial, I'll show you how to shut down a computer that's on the same network as yours. It's actually pretty simple. If you're on Windows 7 or Windows Vista, click start and on the search bar, type in shutdown space dash i. Then click enter. Okay, once, uh, if you're on a previous version of Windows, click start and on the sidebar, click run. Okay, once you're there, type in shutdown space dash i and press enter. If run happens to not be there on the side, go to all programs, accessories, and run should be right there. Okay. If run happens to not be there also, click command prompt. Okay. Command prompt. And then once you're there, type in shutdown space dash i. Then press enter. Okay. Once this window pops out and once you're here, you're going to need to know the IP of the other computer. If you don't know how to get the, the IP of the other computer, I'll show you how. Okay, go on that computer and uh, play if it's a Windows Vista or Windows X, the Windows Vista or Windows 7 computer, click start and type in on the little search bar, type in CMD and this like black box pops out. Okay? And uh, if you're on a pre if it's like previous version like Windows XP, Windows 98 or Windows Me, click start, all programs, accessories and command prompt. Okay? Once you're once this black box box pops out, type in IP config. Okay? And then just press enter. You're gonna have to scroll up almost all the way. And your IP is your IPv4 address. The IPv4 name will be on the left. Your numbers or your address will be on the right. Copy the number that follows IPv4 address and then type that in, in the in the ad bar. Shut down. Alright. Once you have those IP numbers, yeah, go back to your other computer, the one you're trying to shut down from, and then on the ad bar, type in those numbers. Mine happens to be 192.168.2.9, and then click OK. Okay, now right here is going to tell you what do you want to do to that computer. Do you want to restart it, shut it down, or do you want to shut it down instantly? You know? Okay, if you restart it, you have the option of giving them a timer telling them specifically why you want to shut it down and a comment you know if you don't want to tell them specifically why you want to shut them down just uncheck that box planned and you're good to go okay if you click shut down you have the you also have the option of giving them a timer uh, telling them specifically why and comments you know if you click annotate unexpected shutdown you do not have the option of giving them a timer do not have the option of telling them specifically why you're going to do it and a comment. You don't, you can't do any of it. It just shuts down instantly. Um, and, well, yeah, just choose your, I guess, their poison, I guess. All right, if you're on a school, school network and you're trying to do this, I would recommend typing in, I mean typing in, clicking shut down and giving them like a 20 second timer and a little comment. All right, uncheck that box plan and, uh, yeah, just once you click OK, just look at them and watch them freak out. If you're on a home network and they don't know you can do this, just click Annotate Unexpected Shutdown and uh, just click OK. Uh, I guess you can write them a, a comment. Uh, it wouldn't let me before. Okay, well, I guess you can write, a, write them a, a comment on Unexpected Shutdown, but it still will not give you a timer. It'll just shut it down. I guess I don't know what pops out. I haven't tried that one, but... uh. Yeah, just when that happens, they're going to probably think that they stepped on a power cord and they shut down their own computer. And since they don't know you can do this, just deny everything. Okay. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, well, you know, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and hope to see you guys next video.